Hello, and welcome to the Gordian Snot Tutorial. I am the world record holder with the best time on camera, 0 0.96 as of this time of recording, and uh, a personal best of 6.05. Being the world record holder, I believe that gives me every location or right to teach you. And I hope you enjoy this as well, and you learn a lot of it. Um, Anyways, this is going to be a multi-part tutorial, um, which is going to show several different methods of solving the gradient snot, from the book method, to my method, to other methods that I know, so, yeah, let's begin with, uh, showing you the book method. So this is the 69 move method. This is long, I will tell you right now. So be prepared. You may want to get your gradient snot and start solving it while you're watching the video. It will take a while to get this down. But anyways, here we go. First step, you want to move the orange piece. Well, first, make sure that the orange is on top. Green is on the right, purple is on the left, blue is on the bottom, yellow is in the front, and red is in the back. Alright, so hold it exactly like I am. Otherwise it won't work. Put the orange piece to the right. All the way. Then what you want to do is reach behind, grab here, and pull the green piece all the way back. Push the orange to the left. Push the yellow up. Uh, all the way. It should only go one unit like that, so. And then you want to move the yellow, orange, and blue pieces, all of them, to the right. All the way. Now you notice how I've been saying all the way. That's because you don't have to move pieces all the way in certain steps. In fact, you actually need to not always move them uh, all the way. This is one of those steps. Notice the yellow moves freely up and down. You could just push it all the way down. That's not what you want to do. That, that, no. What you want to actually do is you want to only push down the yellow. So that way it's level with the orange. See how it's like flat on with the orange piece? Looks like that from the top. You want it like that. So that way when you push the yellow piece to the left, which you're going to do next, the orange piece you want to move with it, but the blue piece should not move at all. If the blue piece moves slightly, if you push it down a little bit too, if you push it down the way, the blue piece will move with the orange in that. In that case, you messed up. So you want to make it sure that's level, and push only the orange and the yellow piece to the left. If you do this correctly, you should be able to push the yellow piece down, like that. Uh, next, you want to pull the orange all the way to the right, and you want to push the blue and yellow pieces to the left, but not all the way. You want to make sure it's one, I guess you could say a unit or a block. It kind of looks like blocks, like you can see, kind of like on the yellow piece. This would be like three units, I guess. That hole would be a unit, I don't know. But that's what they say in the book, but I prefer just to look at it visually. You want to align the little hole in the blue piece right there. So that way it's with the orange hole, so that way it lines up with the green piece. Obviously, uh, you want to uh, move the green piece all the way forward. You want to push it from behind and just do that. Then, you want to grab onto the blue and yellow pieces and pull the orange to the, well actually you can't pull the orange to the right, never mind. You want to pull the blue and the yellow all the way to the left. Now you want to push the yellow piece up just one unit, like that, so it should look like that. Then, you want to push it back, left, back, left, and then I just usually like to let it go down there, but you don't have to keep it down. And you want to push the blue and yellow all the way to the left. Then you want to push the orange down all the way to the right. Uh, just one unit or block shy. Of the right. Or if you want to see it visually, you want the hole to line up with the red piece like that. And you then you really want to uh, push the red piece all the way forward. And push the orange to the right. And then the blue and the yellow piece all the way to the right, all the way, for both of them. Pull the green piece all the way back. 
push the orange to the left, push the blue and the yellow to the left, uh, or actually, orange to the right, and leave the blue and yellow pieces where they are. Or no, I was right. Orange piece all the way to the left, blue and yellow all the way to the left. Red up, the purple goes left all the way, red goes down all the way. Orange goes right one block. Or if you want to do it visually, that hole should line up with the green piece. Push it back all the way and then pull it out of the puzzle. Congratulations, your first piece is out. Next, we're going to get green out. So you want to push the red out. Purple all the way to the right. Red all the way down. And you want to push them over as far as they can go. Push the green one block to the left, or visually you want it to line up with this hole, push it forward. Next, you don't want to push these three pieces, the purple, red, and green, all the way to the right, just one block shore. Or visually, you want the hole to line up with the red, push the red all the way back, and push the uh, um, purple, green, and red all the way to the right. Lift the yellow one block up. You're going to do the reverse of what you did earlier. Instead of pushing it back, you're going to go right, forward, right, forward. And it just lets it down there. Then, you want to push the red, purple, and green all the way to the left. Push the green all the way back. Push the red as far forward as it can go. Push the red and the purple as far to the left as they can go. At the same time, pull the green all the way to the right. Push the red all the way back. And then push the red and purple all the way to the left. Move the orange to the left. As far as you can go. Push it forward. And bring it out of the puzzle. Two pieces out, we're nearly done. Push the yellow up. Right. Like that. All the way up. Uh, yeah. Push the red and purple all the way to the right. Push the yellow down. Push the purple back. Push the blue up. Push the red up. Push the yellow and purple to the left. Pull the yellow out. Yellow's up. Two more pieces to go. Push the purple left. Push it up. Push it as far forward as it can go. Or wait. Leave it down. Or no, hold on. This part's hard. Okay, yeah. Push it up, and then push it as far forward as it can go. It may not want to go sometimes. I don't know why. I think it's something. Oh. Okay. You must push the blue down sometimes. Push the purple and the red to the left. Push the red all... Well, just one, not all the way. Make sure visually the hole should line up with the red. Push the red as far forward as it will go. Push the red and purple to the left. Push the red up. Pull the left. Pull the purple to the left out of the puzzle. Push the red down one. Towards the left one block or visually so it lines up. Pull it out. And there you go. You are done. To reassemble the knot, please look at my reassemble video. To part of this tutorial, I should have a link in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and hopefully your knot is now solved. Taken apart, blah blah blah. So, yeah. And check out my other parts to learn methods that will get you faster. Or just for fun methods. Or just fun methods that don't really get you faster, but are just cool. So, anyways, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, etc. Don't want to be too happy about that. But, God say it once, so... This has been the Gordian's Not Tutorial. This is Ultimate Master signing out. Have a nice day.